Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. Coming up next it is the Racing Podcast. And welcome, racing fans, to the one, the only RP, the Racing Podcast, presented by American Podcasting, available at apodradio.com, also available at spreaker.com, hashtag sports. I'm your host, Manny Allegretta, and uh, last Saturday was last weekend's Xfinity event, uh, which was the Lakes Region 200 uh, winner, Denny Hamlin, in the number 20 Toyota, who, and uh, second place, Austin Dillon, in the third three Chevy who led seven laps, dropped one point, and third place, Bart Keselowski, in the 22 Ford, and uh, he led one, uh, 17 laps, and also dropped one point. Then Sunday was last weekend's uh, Sprint Cup event, which was the 5-Hour Energy uh, 301, and the uh, winner there, Kyle Busch. His third win for 2015 in the 18 Toyota, who led 96 laps, gained two points. Second place, Bart Keselowski in the number two Ford, who led 100 laps. And third place, Kevin Harvick in the number four Chevy, and he led 59 laps. And both races from New Hampshire. Now, um, Wednesday, which was last night, it was uh, the last Camping World Truck event. And that was the 1-800 Car Cash Mud Summer Classic winner, Christopher Bell. And Christopher Bell, who only won, uh, excuse me, who only raced in uh, three uh, NASCAR races so far, um, had his first win last night. He was in the 54 Toyota and led 106 laps and gained four points. Second place, Bobby Pierce in the 63 Chevy. He led 39 laps, and Tyler Reddick came in third in the, the number 19 Ford. And uh, last night's race from Eldora Speedway on uh, on the dirt, uh, annual uh, tradition. The next race for the trucks is August 1st, and they'll be heading to Pocono. All right, so that leads to race notes, uh, which was the 5-Hour Energy 3 Oh, one uh, scheduled number of laps was 301 laps, and the, the uh, race start time was at 1:30 p.m. Eastern, and uh, I believe it ra- ended at around 6:30. Uh, let's see here. I got the notes right here. Uh, oh, excuse me. Race finish time was 4:34 p.m. Eastern, so it started at 1:38 and ended at 4:34. Uh, air and track temperature for the race was uh, 88 degrees for the air and 119 degrees uh, track temperature. Pole sitter was Carl Edwards. Pre-race information, the Canadian National Anthem, which was uh, performed by Rene Roncourt. Uh, in vacation, Rico Pat- Petra Sally, Boston Hall of Fame shortstop and resident of New Hampshire. National Anthem. Our, our national anthem, Nicole uh, Pelletier, and winner of the Speedway Star Competition, flyover uh, Cessna L19 Bird Dog, sponsored by Bubba's Burgers, and displaying large American flag over turns four and turns one. Driver started your engine command, uh, presented by Adam Sandler, who is uh, a New Hampshire native, and also will start is starring in the uh, new, ser- new movie that is now in theaters, Pixels, which uh, looks pretty neat. All right, so um, I think it was a competition question on Sunday, but we'll go over the notes real quick. So you had a top three at lap five, uh, which was Carl Edwards, Denny Hamlin, and Joey Logano, but then your first competition will come out at lap 21, and that was at uh, for debris at turn one, uh, Jeb Burton in the 26 car was the beneficiary there, and the race would restart at lap 27. So you had a top three at lap 28, which was Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, and Carl Edwards. Kyle Busch with a point seven four second lead over Kurt Busch at lap 30, which by lap 37 grew to 1.44. 
In the top five at lap 36 was Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, Carl Edwards, Joey Logano, David Reagan, the 18, the 41, the 19, the double two, and the double five. And uh, Kyle Busch at lap 48 had a 2.14 second lead um, on Kurt Busch. So he had the Busch brothers uh, right there in the top two spot. Top three at lap 54 was Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch again. Kyle Busch this time with a 2.24. Four second lead at lap 56 and then um, but then by lap 64 well lap 61 you had Kyle Busch and then Brett Keselowski, uh, Keselowski uh, which actually climbed into the first place spot for a little bit at lap 67 and then you had Keselowski, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick uh, lap 73 which was the top three Keselowski with a 1.09 second lead over Kyle Busch at lap 75 then you had some green flag pit stops at lap 76. Matt Kenseth, pen, uh, Matt Kenseth was penalized for uh, spinning on pit road. And uh, oh, black flag um, for officials for... Um, they threw a black flag for something. I forget what it was. Um, well, anyway, uh, Kenseth was spinning on pit road. And he, has to, uh, he had to serve a pass-through penalty. Now, the pass-through penalty... Okay, if you get popped for a penalty on spe- uh, sp- if you get popped for a penalty on pit road during green flag racing, uh, you have to serve a, a pass through penalty. If you get popped with a pit road pen- uh, penalty on uh, during yellow flag question uh, question laps, and then you gotta have you have to restart at the back of the pack. Top three at lap eighty four: Keselowski, Harvick, Dale Jr. Uh, Keselowski. Had a 3.89 second lead over Kevin Harvick at lap 86. Uh, but then uh, Dale Jr. took the lead for a little bit at lap 88. Uh, and I wrote down the 88 car took the lead at lap 88 there. Uh, but then Jeff Gordon moved into first place for a little bit. Then he had the top three, which was Gordon, Dale Jr., and Almendinger at lap 89. And then it was Gordon, Almendinger, and Tony Stewart at lap 91. And then you had a top three of Almendinger. Uh, Landon Castle, Kyle Busch at lap 94. And then the seven car goes on fire. Alex Bowman, uh, right front tire. And um, that would bring out the second caution. Debris on turn four. Actually, that's incorrect. Um, the uh, car went on fire in Pitt Road, I believe. Uh, what happened was there was a fire originally, and they took the tire off, and they thought they got all the fire out. And they put the new tire back on, and then what happened was the new tire went on fire because some of the fire was still uh, has not ha- was not extinguished. So yeah, so that's what happened there. But the second question come out lap ninety six for, for debris at turn four. Stenhouse Jr. is the beneficiary there. Stenhouse Jr. in the seventeen car, um, and then pit road gets they open pit road at lap one hundred five, and then. Um, the green flag will come out lap 107, and the restart lap 108. Top three at lap 109, Keselowski, Kirk Busch, and Kyle Busch, uh, first, second, third. And uh, Keselowski with a .59 second lead over Kurt Busch at lap 110. There was Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, excuse me, Keselowski, Kurt Busch, and Dale Jr. at lap 114 makes the top three. Keselowski this time at lap 115 with a 1.25 second lead over Kurt Busch at lap 115. Lap 116 would bring out the third question for Debris on the front straightaway. Tony Stewart, smoke as they call him. He would be the beneficiary there in the 14 car. And the green flag comes out at lap 121 and the restart lap 122. Ah, excuse me there, folks. Had a, So, um, and then you had a top three at lap 123. Keselowski, Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch. Um, Keselowski with a .51 second lead over Kyle Busch at lap 124. Ryan Blaney reports loose wheel, and he heads to pit road at lap 129, and gets penalized for speeding on pit road, and has to serve a pass through penalty. Um... Those I might not know that uh, uh, NASCAR c- car does not have a speedometer. In fact, they have the tectometer. So they they're relying mostly on RPMs to estimate um, how fast the car is going. So if you're familiar with driving a manual transmission, 
Normally, with manual transmission, you would shift at 3,000 RPM, right? So you go first, then second, uh, and then you go into third at 30 miles an hour, fourth at 40. But if you have a, a vehicle with a, a speedometer and tachometer, you would notice that uh, when you get to the point on the speedometer where you shift, the RPMs are usually hovering around 3,000 RPM. So you downshift. So, so if you're in fifth and you downshift into fourth, you bring the RPMs down to 3,000 RPM, maybe a little bit less, so that you will be in the 40 mile per hour range. Um, because pit road speed is uh, 45 miles an hour. Sometimes it's 55 miles an hour. Uh, the short track sometimes they, they, they cut it down to 30 it, it varies from track to track the uh, speed limit on pit road so top 3 lap 136 Keslowski, Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick uh, Keslowski with a 1.16 second lead at lap 137 it dropped down to 0.84 seconds at lap 139 and then uh, climbed back up to 1.87 at lap 144 Kyle Busch earns was 63 points away from breaking the top 30 in points uh, as of lap 145. Um, he was 87 points behind and gained 24 points. Now he has to get into the top 30 in points to uh, have a chance to get into the chase uh, this year. And I, I know that's been the big news as of late. Race halfway mark at lap 151, where 159.23 Three of 318.46 miles completed. And then the top three at lap 161 was Keslowski, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch. Keslowski with a 3.27 second lead. Uh, it was actually 3.269, and that was at lap 162. And then uh, Harvick winds up hitting though at lap 176. And then it was Keslowski, Kyle Busch, Jeff Gordon, top three at lap 177. Then it was Keslowski, Logano, and Elmendinger at lap 177. Um, Keslowski though, would wind up pitting at lap 179. So then you had Logano, Almondinger, and Carl Edwards at 180. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, the 48 car, penalized for spinning on pit road. He has to serve a pass through penalty. Uh, quote from the radio officials on the radio communications, uh, which I like to listen to as the race is going on. They said, quote, 48 too fast on pit road section 5. 48 too fast on pit road section 5. Pass through. End quote. Um, and of course, the uh, pit road is divided into sections. And each, each section has a sensor that checks the car's speed. The first one's at the beginning of pit, the first sensor is at the beginning of pit road, and then the last one's at the end of pit road, and then the intervals in between. So that's how they divide up the sections. Top three at lap 185, Logano Edwards Kenseth. Logano with a 2.59 second lead over Carl Edwards at lap 186. And then you had um, question number four, which was for debris at turn number three. Fourth question will come out at lap 188. Uh, David Gilland is uh, the beneficiary there. He's in the 38 car. And then yeah, there was also a race off pit road at lap 190, which consisted of the 22, the 19, the 20, the 27, the 4, the 24, the 3, the double 5, and the 14. Logano, Edwards, Kenseth, Kane, uh, Menard, Harvick, Gordon, Dillon, Reagan, and Stewart, respectively. Uh, Logano comes out on that one. Top three at lap 194, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski. That was 194 going into 195, but then when, when at 195, um, Keselowski would move up to second, Kyle Busch would drop to third. And then you had uh, fifth, push number five, comes out lap 197, Ishwood, Paul Menard, Ty Rub, uh, beneficiary Justin Algeer, 51 car. Uh, Menard blows tire and tries to enter pit road, but misses the commitment cone, and uh, he was also charged for speeding on pit road. Uh, Menard spinning, he was spinning as he was entering pit road, and so, and I guess he had too much inertia, and then it triggered that sensor, and it gets popped for speeding. Restart from question number five would be at lap 204, all right? So the top three for lap 204 and 205, it was Kevin Harvick, Keslowski, and Truex Jr. at 204. Then it was Harvick, Keslowski, Carl Edwards at 205. At 210, Harvick, Keslowski, and Matt Kenseth. Uh, and Clint Boyer, he also was suffering from a tie rub uh, right rear. Uh, that was during lap 209. The 51 car was smoking also with a tie rub. Uh,